वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन ए सी एंड डी सी करंट एंड वट इज मीन बाई पुलरिटी बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द लेक्चर क्लिक ऑन द सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड गेट एक्सेस टू आर हंड्रेड ऑफ यूनिक एंड सिंपल लेक्चर फॉर फ्री फर्स्टली लेट मी टीच यू दैट वट इज डी सी आर डायरेक्ट करंट वेल कंसिडर टू पॉइंट पी एंड क्यू no let a wheel is present at point p it then moves from point p to point q and never comes back from point q to point p so we say that this wheel moves in one direction secondly this wheel is moving so it can also do some sort of useful work due to its kinetic energy now consider two other points x and y let an electron is present at point x it then moves from point x to point y and never comes back we have learned in our previous lectures that when charges move this phenomena is called current when this electron being charged particle moves from point x to point y there is current between point x and point y now listen carefully I personally say that there is directed current between point X and point Y. If you ask why, then it is because this electron is moving in one proper direction. It doesn't change its direction. So therefore we say that a current that moves only in one direction or forward direction is called direct current. let me repeat it a current that moves only in one direction or forward direction is called direct current so we learn that dc current is directed current that moves only in one proper direction or forward direction no what is ac or alternating current well again consider two points p and q and a wheel at point p This wheel moves from point P to point Q but it never stops there it comes back to its initial position or point P let me ask you is this wheel moving in one proper direction the answer is no so the motion of this wheel has no proper direction remember that wheel is also moving between two points so it can also do some sort of useful work due to its kinetic energy now consider two points x and y and a charged particle like electron is present at point x this electron moves from point x to point y but it never stops there it comes back to its initial position or point x is this electron moving in one direction the answer is no it moves in one direction and then reverses its direction we also know that there is current between point x and point y but this is indirected current because firstly current moves in this direction and then it moves back or reverses its direction so we therefore say that a current moves in both direction forward and backward is called alternating current or ac let me repeat it a current moves in both direction forward and backward is called alternating current so we learn that ac current is indirected current that moves in forward and backward direction now if i summarize dc and ac current in one statement it will be like this dc current or dc voltage is uniform are forward current and voltage while ac current or ac voltage is non uniform a forward and backward current and voltage thus remember these important statements about dc and ac current now what is meant by polarity well we define polarity as the direction of flow of current let consider a bulb connected through copper wire to a battery let this point is positive terminal p and this point is negative terminal q 
when the switch is closed conventional current will move from positive terminal p to negative terminal q can you guess this type of current well the battery provides current in one direction so it is dc current secondly the positive terminal p and the negative terminal q remains the same so current will always move from point p to point q in one proper direction here this dc current always move in one direction because polarity remains constant so we say that dc current has polarity now consider that a bulb is connected to ac source through a copper wire let consider two points p and q when switch is closed let current will move from point p to point q here point p is positive point or positive terminal and point q is negative point or negative terminal we learn that ac current reverse its direction now current will move from point q to point p it means that q becomes positive terminal and p becomes negative terminal thus instantly point p becomes positive and point q becomes negative and then instantly point q becomes positive and point p becomes negative thus we say that ac current doesn't move in one proper direction and reverse its direction because polarity instantly changes therefore you cannot say that point p is positive and point q is negative so ac current has no polarity thus remember that dc current moves in one proper direction due to polarity and ac current reverse its direction due to no polarity here let me give you some bonus tips have you ever observed 220 volts and 50 hertz on electrical devices well we know that 220 volts is the energy needed to run a device but what about 50 hertz firstly let me teach you about one cycle when the ac current moves from point p to point q and then it again moves from point q to point p one cycle is completed it means that in one cycle current moves in two directions now if i ask you that how many cycles the ac current completes in one second can you answer it well usually ac current completes 50 cycles in one second let me repeat it ac current completes 50 cycles in one second and it is called frequency so 50 hertz frequency means that current complete 50 cycles in one second we know that ac current moves in two directions in one cycle so 50 hertz frequency also means that ac current changes its direction 100 times in one second that is a huge number also remember that dc current has no frequency graphically dc current is represented like this and ac current is represented like this dc current moves in one direction over time while ac current fluctuating over time or it moves in two directions this was all about ac and dc current